need some yellow yarn. This is just, I love this. Uh, this is just Red Heart Super Savory Yellow. It's a little off yellow. It's not as bright. Um, then I have black over here, but it's really all over the place, really. So I'm just trying to leave it hidden. Um, and then I have my yarning needle and the threader. And then some scissors. Then I have um, my H crochet hook by Susan Bates. Okay, so we're just going to start with our slip knot. We're going to chain up four, two, three, and four. Slip stitch into the first chain to form our ring. Now we're going to chain up three, and from this point out, the chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. So here's our little magic ring. So now we want to put seven double crochets in here for a total of eight. So there's one, two, I want eight total. Three, you can see I'm working over my tail. Four, five, six, seven, and oop. <laughs> Eight. Count them again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And that ends that round. Pull that tight. Okay, so now we're going to chain up three. And then we're going to do two double crochets in every stitch around. You should have a total of 16 at the end of this round. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, now we're just going to slip stitch into the chain three. One, two, and three to end that round. And there's what it looks like now. And I'm going to push it out this way to make it the correct way. So we're just in chain three. Okay, and then this round we're going to do this one by itself, and then in the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets. One and two. And then in the following stitch we're going to put one. In the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets. So that's the pattern for this round. You're just going to do one double crochet by itself then two double crochets together in the next stitch. So my last stitch is an increase of two double crochets in that stitch. Okay, so then we're just going to slip stitch into the top, one, two, three, of the chain three right in the middle. Okay, and that ends that round. So, as, um, depends on how many increases you want to do. But I'm going to make this for a small baby, so I'm only going to increase a couple more rows. Um, probably two to three more rows. So let's continue with the next increase. We're going to chain three. And this time we're going to put two double crochets by themselves. And then two double crochets in the same stitch of the next stitch. And that is that pattern for this round. Two double crochets in the next two stitches alone. One and two. And then two double crochets in the next stitch together. Like so. One, two, and then two together. So just continue that pattern all the way around. And again, you should end on an increase after this row. If you do not, go back and see um, where you may have gone wrong. 
Okay, so I just made it back around and I landed on two double crochets in that stitch, the last stitch together. So I'm going to slip stitch into the third on the chain three. Okay, and you can see it's already starting to take place. It's starting to take good shape. So we're just going to chain our three like every round. Um, and this time we're going to have three double crochets by themselves. Again, the chain three counts as one. So we have one, two, and three. And then two double crochets in the next stitch together. That is our increase. So three double crochets alone. One, two, three, and two together. One, two. So we're just going to continue that all the way around, putting three double crochets in the next three stitches. And then in the fourth stitch, we're going to add um, two double crochets together for the increase. Okay, so I'm just coming up on the end here, and I have one, two, three double crochets by themselves. And then my last stitch should be two together, or two double crochets in that stitch. Um, and it is. So we're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And then, like I said, we're going to cut this yarn off. So I like to chain up one, cut, pull through, reinsert my hook in that stitch where I just left off because I don't want to lose where I am. And first, we're going to attach our yellow. I want to just get this attached so we don't lose where we were. Okay, so I'm going to chain three, and we're just going to go ahead and put one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the stitch after that, I'm just going to move these tails to the back. Okay, so another double crochet here, so that's three, and we're going to do one more. Four double crochets alone, and then two in the next stitch one and two okay so we have one two three four double crochets by themselves and two together so now we're going to do four double crochets alone again one two three and four and then we're going to put two double crochets in the next stitch so in four stitches you're going to put one double crochet and then in the fifth stitch you're going to put two double crochets and you're just going to follow that pattern all the way around okay so i just finished that round we're just going to chain up three and for me i'm done increasing i don't want this to be any wider so i'm just going to do one double crochet around for four rows and after the fourth row we're going to change our color back to black and then we're going to do five rows and then change back to yellow and do five rows. So you should um, should be big enough after oop, after um, three like three different color changes for each color. See what I'm saying? Like three black and three yellow. If it's not long enough then, then we'll just keep going. Okay, so I did four rows of yellow, and I think it looks like a lot because we have so little on the black since we were increasing. So I'm just going to end here with the yellow. So I'm going to slip stitch into the third. One, two, and three. Just directly in the middle. Then we're going to chain up one. We're going to cut our yarn and pull through immediately insert our hook where we put that knot so we know that's the stitch we let off, left off on not that it would matter you could really start anywhere but i want the seam to be in the same area and we're just going to go back to our black like i said if you want to go ahead and do five rows of yellow five rows of black go ahead but i thought that the yellow looked a little overpowering against the little bit of black down here so i'm just going to do four each for now chain three, one, 
two, three. Okay, and then we're just going to continue to do, oops, oops. <laughs> I like to hide the tails in here over here real quick. I'm just going to continue to do our um, one double crochet around um, in every stitch for four rows. I think four rows is a good, um, a good binder here. It's a pretty good look. So go ahead and do that. Do your four rows of black. And then we will do four rows of yellow and then black again. Um, once I have all those done, again, you're just going to do four rows of black, four rows of yellow after that, and then four rows of black after that. And once I get done with the last row of black, I will meet back up and we will do the very last four rows. And then I will have... Um, a video link down below for a newborn size hat you can go ahead and just follow that video and it's basically the same exact thing we're doing here and you can just change the colors as you go the same way we change the colors here okay so I just finished my last row of yellow and I think that's gonna do it I don't feel like we need to add any more rows I feel like it's long enough I'm gonna add one more here Okay, and then we're going to slip stitch into the top, chain one, cut, pull through, tie off. For me, this is the perfect length for a little one, I think. And here's what it looks like. Isn't it just so pretty? Again, like I was saying, this could either be a bumblebee. This yellow is a lot darker than what it's showing on camera. but Or you can put a... Uh, Pittsburgh Brick Steelers patch right here like um, iron it on and that would look really nice too but this is how I'm gonna leave it right here like this okay if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up be sure to hit the subscribe button for more great crochet tutorials um, if you have any requests for any cocoons or any crochet items you'd like to see, or just crafts in general, please comment down below and let me know, um, and I'll get those videos made as soon as possible. Um, until next time, have a good day.